Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be ranking popular ship dynamics. Basically, these are ship dynamics I found on Twitter. I just looked at the hashtag that day and just took whatever appeared on my feed. I have my custom tier list here which ranges from ill to god tier. Don't ask me why I didn't name god tier OTP. I wonder why too. But yeah, let's just get into it. First off, we have pretends to hate each other but is actually madly in love. We're gonna start off vanilla, we're gonna start off small. This ship applies to a lot of anime characters. And I think I'm gonna put this in the... Wait a damn minute. <laughs> because honestly, there's nothing like angsty love. Their fiery passion for violence, but also for love. This is more towards being an action than a ship dynamic. Regardless, this is just a very wholesome, comforting ship and you know, I'm all for it here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put it in weighted that minute. The next one we have is a bunch of ships being gay to each other and they have anime eyes. I mean, this is literally ships, right? Nice. The next one we have is famous, everybody wants to be them. Literally just some guy. Madly in love with them. Couldn't care less about them. Ooh. It's like, I think you would see this trope a lot. Or in high school host club is literally the first thing I also thought of. Let's be honest, they usually end up with whoever they hate. So there is no anticipation for me for this trope anymore. <laughs> okay, with this profile picture, you can kind of already tell where this is going. Immortal being who has been alive for thousands of years and just some guy. This tier is literally made for the gods, so... <laughs> I mean... Sauce. Olive oil. That has to be the most perfect way of eating a Philly steak. Fucking delicious. Alright, now we're coming in to the more psychotic ships. <laughs> has killed and will kill again. Scared and horny. Okay. I mean, this is kind of just basically Stockholm Syndrome. If you guys have actually read Killing and Stalking, mm, this has gotta be a no for me. My toxic trait is liking ship dynamic with toxic codependency between a grumpy character and a smiley character. I mean, if you put like a grumpy character and a smiley character, that's like a ship right there. Now, if you add the toxic ship, guys, have you really seen a toxic codependency relationship do well in media? Irreparably. Traumatized and constantly on the verge of a violent meltdown. It's probably the one who did it. <laughs> Down bad to death. It's usually these types of tropes are like the villains and the good guy. But if the good guy is has very very chaotic energy, that's a very very nice power dynamic. It's like if the imagine this if the villain is very strict and stern actually wants to take over the world but our protagonist is like well i kind of don't give a shit i just appear to save the world but like villain kind of hot you know i'll put this in the in a wait a damn minute okay this this shit slap this one is very I mean, one look at it and we know Venom, okay? I think when the movie came out, everyone was like dying over this ship. Personally, it's fine. Maybe the ship dynamic of a healthy couple is, a, is bland, but because you can't write external conflict or interesting storylines, you have to make it the couple toxic. <laughs> Bro, this is feel like calling out everyone that was in here. I mean, the toxic ones anyway. But yeah, I totally agree with this. Both have a lot of unresolved personal issues that making out might not help but can't <laughs> make worse. Okay, so it's like a bunch of like edgy teens. Probably been through some trauma. Can't get their shit together. Madly in love with each other. 
the only way to resolve like their daddy mommy issues is by constantly making out I can't deal with this I can't deal with this trope I would put this in the in the oh shit tier don't always see eye to eye but we'll always try to save each other because they can't stand to outlive to live without the other I mean if you play Genshin Impact this is kind of like child and MC however way you see MC but to me this is how I see MC and Tartaglia because I mean it, it's my jam this is literally my jam would I call it OTP I should have named the tier list OTP right not only a bastard X quietly a bastard I don't remember but they're so familiar you know this kind of reminds me of Pokemon, Jesse and James, but they're both like equally loud. It's like, I like the kind of smug relationship where they can throw jokes at each other and they can finish each other's sentence and they probably, they would probably criticize each other on how they um, have sex too. Oh, uh, just love each other, nothing crazy. Bro, come on, get that shit out of here. I don't know if you guys seem fairly odd parent. It is so this energy. Good job to this user for pointing it out. So instead of putting that tweet, I'm just gonna put this dude's reply because dude deserves the attention. Hot take if your ship dynamic has been done in Bojack Horseman, it's probably not a good ship dynamic. And this is wow, you've grown so much since I last babysat you. I want to rail you so bad. I'm not gonna spoil you, it just ended really badly. I would put this as oh shit for the fact that it's a little morally weird to have this kind of dynamic. Always forgets glasses at home, plus list off the menu for them. <laughs> I mean, I even have friends who do this. Person who is dead who will never wake up. Person who is delusional in love and keeps their life loose body. I recently watched The Walking Dead. I'm gonna put this in meh. I don't particularly care about it. Big monster and guy who talks it. Personally, I don't have that kind of fantasy. Are you sure about that? Really likes person B. Really has to take a shit. I mean, is this self-explanatory, okay? I don't know what you guys think. I have simple needs. Braddy subordinate wants to fuck B. Stern supervisor, kind of into it but nervous. Okay, I kind of always do like an office setting, not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's not forget the classics, okay? Character I can project onto, character I'm attracted to. I mean, is the, do we need even need to explain that? I think the male leads in my cat in my comics tend to be people I'm generally attracted to, or else how am I gonna keep my story going? Enemies trying to kill each other, but also very protective. I mean, we've already seen this. My favorite shit dynamic, me, your mom. Come on guys, I, I, at this point I don't even need to explain it anymore. Big stoic and tough plus short loud emotional both angry. This is in a lot of anime like side character dynamics too. But it's like it's also so overdone though. And usually the big guys they don't have any real personality other than wanting to protect the young ones unless they gave them a story where they get killed to protect the young ones then then i can bump this up to oh shit but usually they don't they're just there because of the dynamic they just exist now this though this is iconic he was a punk she's in ballet I don't need anyone else but B. The rest of you can just drop it. Do this like the fuck? <laughs> Cramp inducing anime hands, like twitching. And then it's like play nice his. <laughs> I like B's personality. It's like chill. QTFD. Chill the fuck down. Two bros and a hot tub. <laughs> this is really so explanatory but i would say this though usually two bros in a hot tub they don't have any interesting conversations unless the conversation turns spicy and they start doing stuff i have no complaints two inseparable bonds are the sweetest friendships to have adventurer who adores their companion companion who adores the adventurer will always be there for him. i mean 
Oh man, Paimon is so insanely annoying. I mean, in the Chinese version, she's fine, but when I played the game, I played it in English. And, you know, towards the end, she, she became so annoying, I had to switch to Chinese. I know there's like this trope doesn't just apply to Genshin. I don't really care about the little helper aspect. To me, it's gonna be a meh. Finally, we've already seen this, okay? It's literally the same as the one where he was spraying water at him. I like these kinds of tropes, you know? It's like the chill and the angry, angry type. I'm gonna put this as the same as this, which is got here. That is about it for my ship dynamic tier list. Don't at me if you think it's wrong, I don't care. But please feel free to tell me what your favorite ship dynamic is. Type it in the comments. And also check out my comics, links in the description. Also feel free to support me on Coffee and Patreon. And I will see you in the next video.